In this video, we're talking in more detail the use of the EBT split functionality with the inventory plus uh, plus. So the question came up, you know, how easy is it to select items? Um, and I want to assure you that, you know, the, the engine that we're using inside the inventory plus plus is fairly robust. Uh, this right here is about a couple thousand items that we have selected, uh, you know, that we're working with. And, you know, let me go ahead and like select, uh, actually I can hit all items. Uh, like that for each category or I can go like this so you know there's a selection in the categories and then there's a selection this way or you can specify each item and you know this is let's just see how many items that is it's a thousand items that we've worked with so it's pretty fast uh, you know if you have more than a thousand items I don't expect there be a, a, a much of a difference in the speed uh, 15,000 items I'd, I'd say would be the max that you know we can work with and as far as the navigation is concerned you know I mean if it's easier for you to create a category first uh, you know like so like we did here you know EBT items and then just add all the items into that category and then just have that category selected that's fine uh, but you know if not this interface here is also okay. So I just kind of unselected the tobacco. Um, and so here it is. Now we have 952 items selected uh, and the thing is turned on. And so let me go ahead and navigate to the register app. And, you know, let me grab one of the meat items and that gets into the EBT. And then let me go and navigate to tobacco items and grab one of these. Um, you know, let's not do that. Uh, and there it is, uh, the, um, you know, it goes into the other items. So fairly robust, pretty quick. And, um, you know, another question came up was with the taxes. So I don't have taxes turned on for any of my items, but, you know, the tax management can be handled on each individual item levels. And so if your EBT items are not uh, taxable because your state says do not tax EBT uh, approved items on the EBT transactions then make those items not taxable um, and you know if if they are taxable then just make the individual items taxable and by that I mean you know you can go into the inventory app you can grab this item here and you can say that f you know the tax settings for this particular item are going to be custom taxes so there's you know, you can get rid of the fees and just say that, you know, whatever the sales tax it is, uh, or just say that it's no taxes or say that it's default. So there's a lot of sort of ways that you can manage the taxes for the EBT items. And if you don't want to charge taxes, then don't charge taxes. But that's just handled before our split functionality. All our split functionality does is just helps you to split the payment because once it does the split here, and then you go to the next screen, it lets you, you know, first pay for EBT items and then pay for the other items. So I hope this helps.